Good evening, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Lord of Hill TV. It's another week, and we're back again with another amazing guest. Ooh, you're going to like this one, as always. Welcome to the show, guys. Go ahead and please share the post, share the live, share on Facebook, share on Instagram, share on WhatsApp, share everywhere you need to share. We are going to be talking with the cricket people today. We're going to be talking to Jeff Miller, as well as Dominic Warren from uh, from Cricket. And we're, we're, it's a big weekend. This is a big weekend that's starting right now. You're going to hear about it in just a little bit. But again, welcome to the, welcome to you. I know you guys are going to be taking your time to come in. So I'm going to delay for like a minute or two. So come on in, guys. Welcome um, to you. Welcome to you. Uh, live scan. How are you doing tonight? Please tell a friend. Have you shared? Have you shared, guys? Please let's share. So what is Lord of Hill TV? Lord of Hill TV mm -hmm. is a channel where we focus on all of the good things about Lord of Hill and all of the amazing resources, places, people, businesses, and all things good because there's so many places places and people that focus on the negative, but we want to focus on the good stuff, the happy stuff, the useful stuff, the fun stuff, guys. That's what we're here for. So <laughs> come on in and get settled down. So we're going to have a few guests coming up today. And of course, we are going to have Madeline at the end to summarize everything in Creole. But before we get into that, let's get into this while we share the post tonight. Please do share the post advertise for free on lord of hill tv while the offer lasts call 954-279-3893 for the details At Shams Law Financial Services, we specialize in credit services and insurance services. As a financial social worker, I'm here to help you maximize your credit score with thinking outside of the box. Located in the city of Lauder Hill, Mercy's Healthcare Registry has been serving the AIDS community for over 15 years. As a staffing agency, we hire HHAs, CNAs, LPNs, and RNs. Give us a call today, 954-572-3699. AutoVision Mobile Care, Broward's trusted car care service center for over 16 years. Call us at 954-336-8765 for your next service appointment. Again, welcome to Lauder Hill TV. My name is Melissa Jane and I am your host. I'm the founder of Lauder Hill TV, where we share good news and great things about Lauder Hill. Without further ado, I'm going to bring up my guest tonight. Let me go ahead and bring up Mr. Dominic Warren. How are you doing, sir? Hey, Melissa. Good evening. Very well, thank you. Well, thank you for being with us tonight. And guess who I just saw enter the room? Mr. Jeff Miller has also entered. So welcome, Jeff. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great, Melissa. It's great <laughs> to be here. Great, great. I know you guys are very, very busy. I've got a lot on, so I'm not going to keep you too, too long. And, uh, and and I really appreciate you being with us as well, Jeff. So let's get into it. First of all, um, let me just start with you, Dominic. Could you just tell us your name? And Well, we know your name, but just could introduce yourself to everybody for us. Yeah, so um, good evening to everyone. I'm Dominic Warren. I'm the Commercial Director at Cricket West Indies. Um, and Cricket West Indies is the uh, the governing body for cricket across all of the English-speaking Caribbean. Um, so if people know their cricket, they'll know the heritage of the West Indies, probably pound for pound the most successful cricket team in the world over the last 30 or 40 years. Um, and for we're coming to uh, Florida, as we have been doing for uh, a number of years now, to play at uh, the Broward County Stadium in Lauder Hill. Um, uh, and West Indies are playing India in two back-to-back T20 matches. So um, I essentially look after them from a, an event and TV and ticketing and sponsorship perspective uh, and work with Jeff and his team at uh, Worldwide Sports, uh, WSE, who help us put on the event at Lauder Hill because they've been working with the venue for a long time. Mm, thank you. I really appreciate it. 
And uh, Mr. Jeff Miller, could you just introduce yourself and tell us who you are? Well, yeah, I'm Jeff Miller, and I'm the um, event manager and general manager of uh, Worldwide Sports. Um, Worldwide Sports is based right here in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Lauderdale. Um, we have a, a long-term agreement with Broward County to bring international cricket to um, Cricket Capital USA, which is the city of Lauderdale. And uh, we've been working closely with Cricket West Indies. And as you've seen for the past couple of years, West Indies has been a host here. And we have a wonderful um, partnership with Cricket West Indies. And we're looking to continue to bring more international cricket to the Cricket Capital USA. Well, that's wonderful. Now, let me ask, uh, do either of you play cricket or have played in the past or tell us about your history in uh playing the game let's start with you jeff <laughs> um, well I, I i did a little thing um did play for the usa uh, a couple of years back um uh played a lot of cricket here in south florida over the years so oh. yes I, I it was it was my favorite sport and um since i have stopped playing the game i've get into the administrative aspect of it. So yes, I love the game and uh, anytime the opportunity arise, you will see me out on the field. But the, this new T20, new T20 is a whole new dimensions. Oh. I'm an old school guy to test cricket five days, but oh, this, yes. new, this new format is for the younger folks and it's very exciting. Okay, wonderful. So I remember, I remember growing up in, as a as a girl in 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 the UK, and we have we have that in common. Um, Dominic, we both grew up in 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 the UK, of course, we, by your accent. But uh, what is your history about as far as playing cricket? And just before you say that, uh, we used to have to watch TV on television every single Saturday because my parents, of course, were, are Caribbean, and they they my my father loved cricket, and we'd have to watch cricket. Or every day on a, on a, on a weekend. But t tell us uh, what your sort of history with cricket is. Yeah, I think in, in the UK, it's it's very much the summer sport. Um, obviously, in the Caribbean, it's played year round. Um, but uh, cricket is, uh, you know, I grew up playing it at school, didn't play at a particularly great level. Uh, <laughs> but the link to the Caribbean is one that is very much uh, where I grew up in southeast London, uh, uh, the county that. I lived in was Kent and Kent had a great history of West Indian mm -hmm. uh, players coming to play. Um, and I'm actually growing up, um, most of my time was watching the West Indies smash England um, <laughs> repetitively um, <laughs> with some of the best players ever. And, uh, you know, that's the West Indies, that's very much the West Indies story, uh, which a lot of the Caribbean people will know, which is, you know, with, with limited resources, not much money, but unbelievable talent, a lot of determination. West Indies has generated the most exciting cricketers, you know, some of the world's best continually year after year, um, and then constantly innovating the game um, and uh, and taking on the world and winning. So uh, won a couple of T20 World Cups. We should explain what T20 is. Yeah, I was about to ask you that. What's the difference yeah, between T20 and the five the five days, as Jeff mentioned? Yeah, so T20 is essentially um, 20 over cricket. And over, it's not quite the same, but if you had a baseball comparison, an over is a bit like an inning, um, or you play 20 overs as the equivalent of nine innings in baseball, as it were. So each team plays 20 overs. But the bowler, just like the pitcher in baseball, is trying to run in and bowl. Um, you know, some of them are bowling 90 miles an hour plus, some of them are spinning the ball, making the ball curve, but the ball's bouncing rather than going through the air. And, and the batter at the other end um, is basically doing their best to hit it out of the uh, the venue, either along the ground or in the air. Um, yeah. Or in the so, crowd. <laughs> yeah, or in the crowd. So <laughs> the further you hit it, or you get more runs or more points. Um and, and basically, a T20 is the fast version of cricket. So you've got bowlers trying to, you know, rough up the batters and the batters are trying to smash the ball out of the stadium. Fast paced, hardly any time between balls. So, you know, get your drinks, get your snacks and popcorn, sit in the seats and, uh, and watch it uh, fly by in front of you. Well, actually, that sounds much more exciting, probably, than it used to be back in the days when I used to watch it and with my parents. Is is, is that true to say, Jeff, is the much faster, much faster game now? 
Yeah, but one thing that uh, T20 has is the time game. It's on the three-hour limit, uh, oh. which is typical baseball, basketball. Okay. Um, so it's excitement from ball one, and there's, there's not a dull moment in the T20 game. Okay. And, uh, it is it is it is really carved out for for the folks like uh, the, the 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 new generation that is coming up, the millenniums. Um, there's a lot of excitement, and um, when you have uh, T20 cricket. They have the cheerleaders, they have the music, the entertainment. Oh, okay. This is all part of the dynamics of this new culture, um, this new excitement. So, um, look, if you haven't seen the T20 game yet, um, I would uh, uh, entice your, your viewers to come to Broward County Park Stadium this weekend Absolutely. and see two of the most exciting teams in the world uh, play uh, this exciting game. Um, along with the music and entertainment that goes along with it. So, look, it is three hours of pack yeah. entertainment. And, and and two of the loudest sets of fans. In and of course, and India, India and Caribbean. I mean, those are the uh, – and, and Jamaica. Is, is Jamaica or, or the Caribbean team? Yeah. Jamaica. So it's, for the it's Jamaica team. each team that comprise all the different components. Oh. Of, so you have players from Jamaica, Trinidad, Guyana, Barbados, and Lucius and Kiss. So it's, okay. the, it's the melting pot of the Caribbean all wow. mixed together and come up with this big product, Cricket West Indies. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let me just go ahead and welcome a few people that have just joined. We have Southeast London in the house. Mr. Wayne, uh, Wayne Group Services is in the house there. Got to show you support. Thank you for joining. Uh, Paula Lee's here. Welcome, Paula Lee. Good evening, everyone. Um, Madeline is here, our interpreter. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Jeff and Dominic. And also, um, Marcia is also in the house. Guys, share the post. I, I know we probably don't have a lot of cricket fans, I know, but this actually sounds like it could be quite fun because I remember it used to be quite dull back in the day, but this T T20 sounds like it could be a fun. And there's a lot of emphasis on the, the 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 music and the partying and the socialization from the sounds of it, right? <laughs> That's correct. And, and um, um, this weekend, look, we, we're hoping that we will have ten thousand people back into the stadium this weekend. So um, I've heard that this ticket, the tickets are, are still available, but they they they're few and far between now. So let me actually just drop the the link to the um, place where people can grab the tickets. Uh, as we continue, um, let me talk. Let's just talk a little bit more about um, the games. You're, you said there's going to be how many games are being played this weekend, and what is what is the full season like? Uh, Jack, uh, Dominic, do you want to take yeah, that Dominic. one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there, there's two games this weekend, back to back games on Saturday and Sunday. So they're mm -hmm. both on at ten thirty, mm -hmm. uh, completed by about two thirty p.m. So uh, with a little break in between both teams' innings. Um, the season, it, it's it's a year-round season now internationally, and obviously, like most sports, you've then got the sort of feeder, the feeder category, so the age group cricket and the regional cricket that grows into it. So in the West Indies, you've got um, regional tournaments and teams, so the best players obviously get picked and selected for the West Indies. Mm. Um, uh, from an international level, this is the end of a, a, a big series where West Indies are hosting India which comprise test matches, which is the five-day version of the game, much more about endurance and stamina and decision-making. You've got the one-day game where full day takes place of cricket, but a longer, so 50 overs each. So, you know, it's very much sort of 10, 10 a.m. to sort of 5.30 p.m. game. Mm. Um, uh, so West Indies have hosted India. India won the test matches um, and just won the one day matches but West Indies are winning 2-1 in this series so anything can happen in the next two games West Indies could win both and win comprehensively which would be quite historic uh, mm -hmm. India want to fight back because they see themselves as the best in the world uh, which mm -hmm. you can imagine with 1.2 billion people and rising um, and, and they love their cricket so mm -hmm. if India win then Sunday's game is really the clincher it's a winner takes all um, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know, we move on. So uh, teams are preparing. And then obviously from a T20 perspective, the ICC World Cup is coming to the Caribbean and the United States, United States for the first time ever uh, in 2024. So wow. whilst those locations aren't sorted um, yet or yes. announced, you know, obviously Lauderhill is one of the, you know, essentially the leading venue 
uh, leading cricket venue anywhere in the States uh, is obviously a front runner for, for that as well. So it's it's not just the games now. It's obviously building up to what will be, you know, one of the biggest sports tournaments in the world. Um, not far, it's probably third only to something like uh, the Football World Cup and the uh, and the Olympics, not discounting things like the Super Bowl and mm -hmm. NBA finals, of course. Well, this is kind of like the Super Bowl of cricket, right? Uh, this this what's happening this weekend. And it's really significant that it's actually here in, in the city of Laurel Hill, which is amazing for the city. How many people do you say potentially are, are going to be at this uh, this this match uh, this weekend? Well, we're hoping that um, uh, we can have about 10,000 people each day, which would be fantastic. And uh, if, 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 look, we're not, we're not saying that we want India to win on Saturday, but if it comes that we have a big finals on, on Sunday, um, two up, we would expect that the, uh, the our Caribbean diaspora supporters would come out and um, really support the West Indies team. Um, Look, um, we keep saying that Lord Hill is an extension of Jamaica. Right? <laughs> well, there's, en there's enough uh, Jamaicans here, right? <laughs> That's correct. So, so we want to we want to make our, our West Indian team feel at home. Yes. Uh, more home field advantage is always a big component when it comes to these games, and we we hoping that our, our, our Caribbean brothers and sisters will come out this weekend and support um, our, our, our new. Um, we, well, we have a new T20 captain, Ruffin Powell, and it'll be a segment to, to support. And then a new coach in, in, in Darren Sammy, the charismatic Darren Sammy from St. Lucia. Okay. Um, and, and so, look, uh, just come on out this weekend and you'll see some fantastic cricket for some of the best cricketers in the world. All right. So, so, so um, Paul is saying, yes, Jamaica. Now, we're going to talk about Talawas in a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> good smiles from, from Wayne and um, Dr. Robertson. Once again, thank you, Melissa. Your love for mm -hmm. the city is un unquestionable. Thank you so much. I'm bringing you good stuff from, from Lauda Hill. I wanted to ask you a little bit about um, the history of cricket in Lauda Hill. How much, how many, you know, how many matches have you been? How many times have you been coming to cricket, uh, to, to Lauda Hill? Um, Dominic, do you want to, do you want to take that one? Yeah, it's a, uh, it, it's a double question really. I'll probably start and then Jeff can follow up as well. Cause sure. it's not just the West Indies. There's a, other cricket going on in terms of developing USA cricket, which can Jeff can reference, but, uh, and CPL, which is the Caribbean, uh, T20, which has taken place here in the past. So, mm. but anyway, West Indies. I think we started off playing against uh, New Zealand was the first ever game here, probably roughly ten years ago. Um, but West Indies have also played against Bangladesh uh, back in 2018. We played India in 2019, India again in 2022, and India in uh, uh, and obviously now India in 2023. We've also had uh, the first ever West Indies under. Uh, 19s women's matches but because women's cricket kit is developing really quickly oh. and that was against the new west uh, new us uh, under 19 so that was historic that was back in 2022 and that followed on from the west indies versus india series so there's been lots of cricket at the international level um and jeff can tell you much more about what's happening with us cricket matches here in terms of uh regional competitions and also what's gone on with with other tournaments okay take it away jeff well um the city of lauder hill um commissioned back uh um 20 maybe uh 2018 2019 um so so well probably before that because the 2007 world cup was really that the vision about having a stadium in the city of Lauder Hill um, in Vision. Um, we had some proactive uh, commissioners led by former Mayor Richard Kaplan, who saw that his his, his constituents were, were predominantly from the Caribbean diaspora. Awesome. Um, remember he went to Trinidad on a trade mission and someone took him to a cricket game. And um, they told him that uh, city of Lauder Hill can bid for World Cup. Yeah. Um, so back in 2007, that vision evolved of building a stadium here in the city of Lauderhill. 
Um, so it was actually built for the 2007 World Cup. Um, unfortunately, we didn't receive any games back then. But as Dominic said uh, earlier, we will finally have World Cup cricket to be played at this um, stadium. Um, it was the only ICC certified stadium for years. Um, so as, as also as Dominic said, um, looking forward to next year World Cup, uh, being of we are the only stadium of this magnitude that have hosted international cricket. We're hoping that when those announcements are made in a few weeks or a few months that the city of Lauderhill and uh, the stadium would be at the forefront to be hosting uh, cricket. So we are very excited of, of what's happening this weekend, but we're more excited of what can happen um, next year in the future um, to be having international cricket World Cup. This is the first uh, ever in the USA, and uh, to have it right here in our backyards will be a big plus because the economic benefits that can be derived for our communities, for our businesses right here in the city of Florida Hill, be tremendous because the World Cup, we will see hundreds of thousands of people coming into our city. That's incredible. Um, when I was uh, putting this together, I, I read that this is the, the, the only the only stadium of its kind or something like that. Let me just That's go ahead. Correct. What was what did I read there regarding cricket? I'm gonna find it in a second, but um, it's uh, it's very significant. So you know we're we're actually honoured, and y you, Jeff, uh, have been part of the whole vision. So from the beginning of when it was uh, when it was just a big field, I guess, uh, to now where it's you, you, world class cricket is being played. And how, how do you feel about being part of this journey? Well, well look, it, it is something that sometimes I look back and say, boy, it's, it's been a it's been a, a long ride. <laughs> um, I, I can remember the days of walking the streets of Lada Hill with a petition um, asking wow. the residents to sign a petition to have um, a cricket stadium built. Uh, when this whole um, idea about um, the original part was, was was talked about and we wanted cricket here and um, we went on the grassroots level and we got the signatures and we, we demand that a, a cricket stadium be built when this part was being done. So look, I look back and say, you know, those were the days that were the hard work. But look, uh, we hosting the games right now and next year um, it would be a dream come true to see, in, you know, World Cup cricket being played right here at the stadium. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, we're going to take a short break for about a, a, about a minute and we're going to come back and um, you're going to talk about what the Jamaica Talawas is and, 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 just, and a little bit more of, of, of this. So don't go anywhere, guys. And again, if you're watching, you have a chance to share. Please go ahead and share while we take this little break. All right, where well, we take this little break. Here we go again. Take two. <laughs> Advertise for free on Lauder Hill TV while the offer lasts. Call 954-279-3893 for the details. All right, welcome back to Lauder Hill TV. We are a channel that pr uh, provides good news and great resources of things that are happening in the city of Lauder Hill. We're, we're excited to be here. We're excited to welcome uh, Dominic Ward and Jeff Miller to the show tonight. Um, please go ahead and just drop your your, your likes and whatever to, to, to show them the, the love that you always do. So, <clears throat> Mr. Jeff, <clears throat> what is uh, Jamaica Talawas? <laughs> Well, the Jamaica Talawas is one of the teams that plays in the Caribbean Premier League, the CPL, which is the leading uh, T20 tournament in the Caribbean. And uh, a matter of fact, I think it is is the vehicle for the selection of of of, of the um, West Indies cricket team. So you will see that all the players that is being played here this weekend have also played and represent different teams in the in the Caribbean Premier League, which is the CPL. Um, Worldwide Sports, the company that it works for, is the current owners of uh, Jamaica Talawas. So the owners of Jamaica Talawas is right here uh, in the county. And, and the, the other good thing about it, that uh, we, we are the defending champions. We won the championship last year. Um, and we have won it. Um, two pre previous years, the first year in 2013, 2016, and 2022. Um, the CPL is scheduled to start uh, this weekend, uh, next weekend, I'm sorry. 
Exhibition. Andrea Lafour to uh, to defend the title, and um, give give Dominic and his staff another uh, something to cheer about again. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you get involved in the in the Jamaica Tullowers as well, Dominic, or is that a separate entity? No, we we, we keep an we keep an eye on it. So, Cricket West <laughs> Indies is a, a is a small shareholder in the CPL itself, um, but obviously uh, it's really important for us because um, at one level it's a really fantastic way of showcasing the best of Caribbean cricket to the rest of the world. At second level, it's a great pathway for young cricketers to come in and experience, you know, the incredible international sport in full stadiums around the Caribbean. Um, uh, and just thirdly as well, I mean, it's 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 an amazing sports experience. So, um, and, and a lot of the players who play in the CPL will obviously play for the West Indies international team. You know, the, the, the best will go into the West Indies. Um, and some of those players will be playing in other types of cricket as well. So test cricket. Um, and of course, there's a, a women's CPL now as well. So you've got the best women's cricketers also coming through, um, you know, who play for the West Indies. And I think really importantly, I think for West Indian cricket to have international and really high quality professional women's cricket is really important because... I think there's often been a stigma attached to women playing cricket in the Caribbean, but I think it really shows how the Caribbean is developing and, you know, that the, the Caribbean's favourite sport is is available for everyone, um, not just the men as it probably had been up until the sort of early 90s. So it just shows how quickly the Caribbean is uh, is progressing. Well, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm quite um, nicely surprised that there is women cricket. I didn't really... I don't think I realized there was women's cricket before. And, um, you know, comparing to what Jamaica is doing with uh, with soccer, you know, I'm bringing that really to the forefront. Uh, women's sport is really, really getting um, the attention and the the support that it, uh, it it deserves, I think. So that's a that's a great, uh, a great thing that that's happening. All right. So let's just wrap up then um, of what's going on this weekend. How can people get involved? And, uh, you know, any final words? Uh, let's start with you. Jeff, and if, if I've forgotten anything, just let me know. Well, again, um, we have these two international T20 games that is going to be played at the regional park, 441 and Sunrise. Uh, uh, West Indies are hosting India. Um, it's a five-match series. Uh, West Indies are up two games, India's one, so there are two games uh, to be played. Um, so we expect to have uh, two dynamic teams competing this weekend for the title. And, um, you know, I'm encouraging all the folks in the diaspora to come on out and support the West Indies team um, and, as, and to be loud um, because the Indian supporters are very, very, very loud. So, <laughs> so we're asking our folks to come on out and support, um, support our, our uh, West Indies team. Um, this weekend, the game starts at 10.30. Um, the gates open at 8.30, I think. Um, if you doesn't have your ticket at this time, you can go online and purchase your tickets. Or we do have a box office right outside the stadium facilities by the clock tower. And you can come there and purchase your tickets. But please come out and support um, the West Indies versus India. Perfect. Lovely. And uh, Dominic? Yeah, I think uh, just to add to, to, to buy online, you can get them at tickets.windyscricket.com. Um, for those obsessive cricket fans here in Lauder Hill uh, who, who keep an eye out. We'd love to have you following us on windyscricket.com, which is the main uh, website to follow everything in West Indies cricket. And you can see links to the ticket there, highlights, interviews and everything else. But if 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 people haven't experienced cricket before, have heard lots of stories about this weird game where <laughs> people can go on for days. Actually, it's not. It's an amazing game. You know, similar tactics to Baseball, if there are baseball fans out there with the ball curving, you know, how are you going to pitch to the different batsmen? Incredible fielding skills, um, uh, you know, and a really colourful, loud uh, fan experience as well. So, you know, we'd love to welcome people um, and, you know, cricket will be coming back. But, you know, this is an incredible chance to see two of the best teams in the world and two really important teams in terms of some of the communities and the expat communities here, here in the States. Wonderful. So, guys, as Wayne says, uh, he was uh, watching women's uh, football and rugby last weekend. Um, this is a great thing for, for Lauderhill. 
This is a great thing that there's going to be so many people here in the city of Lauder Hill. The restaurants close by are going to benefit. The the, the businesses are going to benefit. So we're, we're excited to have Lauder Hill at this level right here in the city of Lauder Hill. And then the possibilities of what could happen for 2024. So thank you so much, Dominic Warren. Thank you so much, Jeff Miller. Uh, you did mention the the the, the uh, manager for the Talawas. What, what was his name? Did, did you mention his name? With the Talawas? Yeah. The manager from uh, last year? You, you mentioned the, 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 that he's here in Lauder Hill, did you? No, I, no, I probably said the captain of the... Oh, um, the, the captain. The, the captain of the new captain of the of the, of the West Indies, the Ralph Moore Powell. Oh, um, he's, um, he's in the city of Lauder Hill or in South Florida? Well, well, he's the captain of the team right now, and we ask him to come out and support Rothman and his team and his troops as okay. they go up against India. So um, a dynamic person, a dynamic captain, and one of the most exciting uh, T20 players in the world is Rothman. So come out oh. and support him and his team. All right. All right, fellas, thank you so much for being a part of Lord Hill TV today. I really appreciate you taking your time out. I know there's a lot going on right now, so I really, really do appreciate it so much. All right, thank you so much again. Well, thank All right. you. All right. You're welcome. Thank Have you. a wonderful night. Have a good night. And good luck. All the best for, for, the, for the games. Well, thank All right. you. All, All right. right. Bye-bye. All right, there we go, guys. <coughs> We've had our cricket uh talk today you know we i grew up watching tr cricket didn't necessarily love it that much but this t20 thing sounds pretty awesome i i, I would i would love to go but um we'll see what we can happen we'll see what happens all right after this short break we're going to be coming back with our uh, interpretation of the whole thing so don't go too far advertise for free on lord of hill tv while the offer lasts Call 954-279-3893 for the details. At Shamsla Financial Services, we specialize in credit services and insurance services. As a financial social worker, I'm here to help you maximize your credit score with thinking outside of the box. Located in the city of Lauder Hill, Mercy's Healthcare Registry has been serving the AIDS community for over 15 years. As a staffing agency, we hire HHAs, CNAs, LPNs, and RNs. Give us a call today, 954-572-3699. AutoVision Mobile Care, Broward's trusted car care service center for over 16 years. Call us at 954-336-8765 for your next service appointment. Welcome back to Lord Hill TV. I'm excited to just have spoken to uh, two amazing people from the cricket. Um, you know, I'm trying to bring you something that's I wouldn't normally uh, do. You know, I wouldn't not normally be speaking about cricket, but it's in Lord Hill. So I have to speak about it. I have to learn about it. And I actually learned that T20 is much more faster and exciting than the traditional cricket that I used to know back in the day. All right. So let's go ahead and welcome my guest tonight, my interpreter, who is going to give us all of that in uh, in Creole. Welcome, Madeline. How are you doing tonight? I am well. Good evening. How are you? I am wonderful. It's always good to see your beautiful face. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> Bonsoir tout famille zami, Lode Hill TV, après midi à nous connaît Melissa, il toujours gagné de présentateur qui fantastique pour présenter de bonnes choses, bon qui choix qui a passé dans ville préférée pour la ville Lode Hill. Nous déjà connaît n'importe bon bagage qui a passé, n'importe bon événement. Eh bien, Lode Hill TV, li là chaque jeudi à 8h. Fabriez, abonnez avec chaîne télévision Lode Hill TV, de pour aller sur YouTube, et puis ou apoué bouton qui marque subscribe, ou apaisez bouton rouge là pour capable subscribe na Lode Hill TV, parce que ou connaît initiative nous, c'est pour nous capable de porter ou bien transmettre information qui a utile ou qui a utile famille. 
Non moi, Madeline Noël, nous connaissons moi-même qui transmet information en créole chaque jeudi soir. Et bien après-midi, à nous te gagner messieurs Dominique et nous te gagner messieurs Jeff mais là qui était ensemble avec nous qui t'a parlé des joueurs qui ont parlé qui relait cricket cricket c'est un sport eh bien nous connaît ville de hill li chargé avec bon kichoy ville de hill c'est lui même qui capital cricket joueur qui relait cricket hein li ni pour fille ni pour garçon et puis sport ça c'est un sport international si ou poko a bil avec sport qui relait cricket hein eh bien n'a invité ou Weekend ça ou pas l'autre côté ne que na l'autre hill côté où va venir amuser ou na jouer cricket ça qui passe Eric <laughs> so wap là de ou met comment c'est venu depuis huit si ou pas encore gagné ticket ou eh bien ou capable jouer ticket ou ou pour aller na ticket point wendyscricket.com pour capable trouver ticket ou ce week-end ça ou pas l'autre côté n'est que pour aller amuser ou non jouer de cricket ou pas demander qui ça qui joue de cricket et mais cricket c'est deux équipes qui gagnent il y a essayé de transmettre yon boule dans yon filet et puis pour yon traverser à dépasser équipe qui en face yo et bien week-end ça ou gagnent West Indies qui en face Angleterre mais les familles yo pour capable enjoy yo et ou pas regret peut-être ou pourquoi j'entendais parler des cricket ou pas capable apprendre des cricket ou pas capable apprendre des jouets ça comme nous deux c'est un jouet qui international et pour plusieurs années jouet ça li établi dans ville Lode Hill c'est une façon pour ou capable venir mener famille ou mener amis ou et puis pour nous capable ouais qui équipe ou à supporter vinn supporter West Indies parce que y a joué weekend ça et nous ta remain pour capable participer n'a demandé Melissa s'il est capable mettre feuille if um, you can bring up the flyer so that um, our audience can get the information par Melissa a cherché feuille nous a dit ou que l'Ode Hill TV toujours a propager business ou pour gratis ou capable contacter Melissa nan 954 279 38 93 pour capable faire business ou passer pour gratis pas dit pas dit ou ça ni tout pas rater occasion ou du moins si vous voulez parler en créole ou capable reler nan 954 383 95 45 nous voulons depuis ce yon business ou gagner dans ville de Lode Hill ou gagner un événement qui a fait dans ville de Lode Hill nous inviter au pendant période que nous a promoter business ou bien événement yo gratis nous inviter au pour relé 954 279 38 93 mais pour weekend ça c'est jouet cricket qui a fait dans ville de Lode Hill nous espérons que vous capable de prendre un petit temps ensemble avec la famille pour nous capable de participer. Et l'autre fois encore, si vous avez besoin de ticket, vous êtes capable de faire www.ticket.wendies.com pour trouver le ticket. Parate jouet la, n'abtanon pour nous capables de gagner un bon moment ensemble. C'est un plaisir pour nous être capables d'informer sur tout bon bagay, bon kichoy qui a passé dans la ville Lode Hill. Pas oublier, abonner avec chaîne télévision Lode Hill TV. Invitez yon zami, invitez yon famille parce que nous voulons pour nous capables toujours gagner opportunité pour tes bonnes nouvelles, pour vous, bon ressources pour vous activité qui a fait la nan ville préférée ou la ville Lode Hill. C'est un plaisir pour nous te capable ensemble avec vous, pour nous te rejoindre avec Melissa Jane, qui est fondatrice Lode Hill TV, ensemble avec moi-même Madeline Noël, qui se transmet créole. Nous te content avec vous. Weekend ça, cricket nan ville Lode Hill. Thank you Melissa for the opportunity. Thank you everyone for joining. It's always a pleasure. Please subscribe to Lottie Hill TV. Invite your friends every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Thank you, Madeline, for that amazing interpretation. And um, if you do have a few moments, uh, we got uh, four, it's uh, 8, 4, 840. 
Do you have a few minutes to hang out? I do. So I just wanted to say that on the Lord, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> on the Lord Hill website, you can actually find all of the information regarding uh, cricket. It has um, the links. Welcome to you know Lord Hill, the cricket capital of Lord Hill. Let me put this back up again. I wanted to um, make sure that you guys could see this. Um, this is the Lord Hill website. All right, City of Lord Hill website. And it has all of the information regarding cricket. It has the, the two dates that it's happening, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Click here to get the tickets. And then it has, um, you know, a little bit of description about it, as well as media where, where to get hold of people, emails, and then the cricket, the, when, the Windy's ticket ticketing website, as well as prohibited items that you should pay attention to restricted items as you're going into the facility so it's all there you can go there i've dropped the link in the chat already this is the lord of hill website um news and events slash cricket all right so did i drop it in the chat or did i drop it in the chat yes it's let me just make sure that yes i dropped it in the chat already so we're going to just spend a little time on talking about some other events that's happening in lord of hill and um, um, if you want to expand on anything that I speak about, Madeline, you can feel free to do so, okay? No problem. All right. So let me pull up the first one. Here we go. So this is the um, happy hour on Fridays. Every Friday they have a happy hour over at Donna's Restaurant, which is university drive in lord of hill all right and again i'm going to also drop in the links to the facebook page where all of these events are found let me just drop that in right now for you i have this ready for you today that's the facebook page and then for those who may be watching on on facebook I want to make sure I give the YouTube channel, which is Laura Hill TV on YouTube. So let's just give, go ahead and give you those two right now. All right. So let's go back to this. So this is the Western News Cricket we were talking about. All right. Then you also have at Lalo's. I'm sure this is going to be a good night for all of the people that are in town for the cricket. They could probably hang out at Lalo's reggae date night. August the 12th is at Lalo's, and this is a uh, general admission $45. Culture Fest, Culture Fest, a lot of big uh, artists. Etana is going to be there, Loot and Fire, and, and many more. Um, also, oh, Saturday, August 12th, this is Derek's, Derek G's birthday bash happening at uh, Jeppers Place. This is the soccer place over on um oakland park so that's another flyer there and again all these flyers are over at laura hill tv facebook group there's some back to school pop-up shops over at the mall this is laura hill mall i believe yep laura hill mall on saturday and sunday uh the 12th and 13th also the 26th and 27th 11 till 5 the Back to school pop up shop. You can check that out as well. There's a lot of back to school things happening right now. As you can imagine, school is back uh, about to get started. Dr. Nadia Assad, M Miguel, Pierre, and Debbie Banner. Um, Dr. Nadia Assad and community partners presents the mega annual back to school uh, fair walk through. Um, Saturday, August 12th, this weekend as well, 10 to 1, while supplies last. Uh, Ernest Baptiste, Commissioner Lawrence Martin, and uh, France Sanon. Um, I know that this, uh, Dr. Nadia does this every year, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So you're going to have supply, school supplies, food distribution, health fair, and free tablets and phones. So guys, you definitely want to come over to this one. The address on this one is 
do, 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 do. what is the address on this one? I don't see the address. Do you see the address? Yes, yeah, 7541. It's in the middle. Oh, right there. It's, yes. big, it's big as you can see. It. 7541 West Oakland Park Boulevard, Lord of Hill. Is this over by where um the restaurant is? Uh, it seems to be close to the sports park. Across the road from the sports park. I believe this is where the hair salon and um, that restaurant is. I think that's where that is. All right. Also, we have um, family life departments over at New Hope, Seven Day Adventist Church, Summer Tea Party, the com uh, competition for hat and table, men, crazy socks, best dressed, mm -hmm. uh, brood awakening, uh, August 13th at 4 p.m., uh, venue is uh, 9500 Sunrise Lakes Boulevard in Sunrise. Guest speaker is Jackie Vernon Thompson, etiquette expert, author, and entrepreneur coach from the Inside Out School of Etiquette. Cas uh, dress, cas dress code casually elegant. And the phone number there 954 937 0315 for more information on that one. The Soka Time is happening this weekend. This is by the South Florida Caribbean Conference Socatar down by the beach. This one is happening, but it's by our friend Samantha Lucraj. Socatar Health and Wellness from 10 till 12. This Sunday, August 13, a walk and dance along to music. We've got uh, Soka Fitness is going to be there. Sassy Fit, several fitness um, companies are going to be there. Genesis uh, a tea extreme fit. Uh, this is happening uh, at the Loop, 3000 East Las Olas Boulevard, Fort Lauderdale. There is a Broward Black Business Expo happening on August 15th. And this is at the City of Lauderdale Lakes Multi Purpose Center in Lauderdale Lakes. And the reason why I dropped this one in is because they're just right next door to Lauder Hill. And because it's free, it's part of the Black uh, Black Chamber of Commerce. So and it's anything that's free and it's related to uh, to Broward, we can definitely showcase it on Lauder Hill TV. Now, our friend uh, Jackie Vernon Thompson is way, way busy doing so many workshops and conferences and so forth. From the outside, from the inside out, at School of Etiquette, she's doing a uh, et, uh, elevator pitch. So it's for your your businesses. It's a free hands-on workshop. I've seen this uh, done before, or at least a part of it. And now it's going to be in its its entire workshop. Uh, Tuesday, August fifteenth. It's a free hands-on workshop, guys. Six fifteen until. 8.30 p.m. at uh, 7600 Northwest 50th Street at Veterans Park. I love, I love Veterans Park. Uh, what else we have? This is put on by the Lauder Hill Chamber of Commerce, P&A Meeting Professional Networking Association. Uh, this is Thursday, August 17th at noon until 1 at Joy's Roti. This is the Lauder Hill Chamber of Commerce. So go and check out the Lauder Hill Chamber of Commerce. The website is lauderhillcoc.org. Lauderhillcoc.org. A lot of great stuff you can find. All of the information on the Lauder Hill Facebook page. Um, I'm not going to go into everything in detail, but the Lauder Hills having their food truck on the... Ooh, I cannot see. This is very small. Why did that go so small? All right. The date is... Um, it's blurry. I can't see that one. So we'll figure that out. So we talked about the conference that's happening all, uh, at the end of the month. It's the, 26th, the 25th and the 26th. So if you want to go to the gala, which is the 25th, that's a ticketed event. So you got to pay for that. But on the 26th is actually two events on the 26th, which we... Uh, can attend for free. On the 26th, again, 10 a.m. till 3 is the Business Expo. And then 26th, again, from 6 until 10 is the conference. Both of these two events are free. It's only the one on the 25th that is a ticketed event. And that's the uh, that's the Leadership Awards Gala. 
All right. So you definitely can take a part of that. There's going to be about 20 of us representing Lauder Hill TV going to attend this event and showing out and supporting the event and having a good time as well. All right. Um, we're going to talk about this one. And next week is the 26th. And let's see what else. This one is very blur blurry. I cannot read that one yeah. either. All right. So that's going to be it for the events for today. We can talk about the rest of them coming up next week. All right. So if, is there anything you want to add on that, my friend? Noel. Um, I am really um, encouraging the residents and even our surrounding friends to be a part of the things that are happening in Lauder Hill. And as we just heard you mention of certain events that are happening at, in our neighboring cities, um, because that's truly what we believe in. We believe in unity. We believe in coming together as communities, you know, one look after the other so that we can ensure our communities thrive. And again, so comme Melissa Sudban nous yon paquet événement qui a passé nan l'Ode Hill et même nan ville qui tout près depuis son événement qui gratis et bien li a bénéficié nous tout près pour nous capable partager li ensemble avec vous parce que nous kwe nan communauté vini ensemble pour yon capable uni yo et faire yon seul les nous uni nous et bien communauté nous yo a vin grand la paix des familles nous la paix des simon nous la paix de l'église nous la paix des société pour nous capable permettre société yo vinn mio kek um, événement qui a passé nous gagnons uh, pour ti moun qui a retourné l'école yo nous gagnons docteur Nadia Assad nous gagnons Miguel Pierre Debbie Banner qui a gagné un événement samedi ça de 10 e 75 41 dans West Oakland Park Boulevard et bien nous inviter aux parents parce que il y a bail manger gratuit il y a bail supplies pour ti moun yo aller l'école gratuite aller dans site Lauder Hill soit aller dans Lauder Hill bar fl.gov et bien tout événement ça yo que nous a dit qui a passé dans ville ou a gen opportunité pour capable participer et majorité nan événement yo c'est événement qui gratuit yo ye nou gen yon événement culturel qui a fait le 15 le 12 août c'est dans la lose 45 dollars pa rien pour capable supporter yo c'est et ou gagner yon lot événement dans 71 53 West Oakland Park Boulevard Nan Lode Hill Mall, Lode Hill Mall, les 12, 13, 26 et 27 août, eh bien, ou capable al shopping pour Timonio. Songez, l'école a ouvri 21 août pour nous même qui n'en boit à Woodland, eh bien, allez pour capable shopping nan Lode Hill Mall, lan, ou capable reler 754 816 0734 si ou gagnez ou comprend un petit business et puis ou ta vle pour al vendre nan jou sa yo ou ap gen opportunité pour capable faire ça ou gen stockton qui a fait nan weekend lan et li a fait nan 3000 is las olas boulevard ou ap capable participer nan soketan si ou ap gade feye an, ou ap wè tout information pou participer nou genye zanmi nou vreman ki a mette program sa yon fason pou capable al feti exersis ou ou kopren ou kapap danse pendan ou ap amize ou nan evenman sa. Gen pil evenman nou gen Black Business Expo ze ki a fet le 15 août la nan l'ode de l'ex, événement sa li gratis. Sou se yon business ou besoin support ou bien ou besoin information sou ressous ou kapap participe le 15 août. Um, nou genye Jackie Vernon Thompson. Mes amis, moi pas capable de dire assez pour dame ça qui vraiment a fait un travail exceptionnel dans la communauté. Il vraiment prend temps pour capable montrer nous comment pour les nous dans société, comment pour nous accueillir monde, comment pour ti moun yo, yo connaît comment pour yo agir, non seulement pour ti moun, mais pour grand monde aussi. Eh bien, les 13 um, 
nous gagne weekend ça li gagne un événement que li a fait ensuite tout nous wè li gagne un workshop que li a fait les 15 dame ça li très 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 influencé très occupé dans ville de Lodéhill si petit tout si ou même ou poko gagne opportunité pour faire rencontre avec Jackie Vernon Thompson moi invité ou pour contacter Miss Thompson li vraiment influencé dans communauté vraiment a aider timounyo avec étiquette comme nous dit Là où paraît notre société, où pas capable paraît n'importe façon pour parler n'importe façon. Et nous gagnons dimanche ça qui c'est treize. Li a non yon événement non communauté hein aussi côté li va c'est quatre vingt quinze zéro zéro Sunrise Lakes et wap join Miss Jackie Vernon Thompson. Si vous besoin plus d'informations sur Tea Party ça qui a fait c'est 954 937 0315. Vous avez joué moins là dans événement tout moi même moi a participé dans événement côté nous à bail support nous nous inviter communauté à entièrement venir dimanche 13 août à 4 heures ou capable les 954 937 0315. Nous inviter communauté à entièrement Dernier ça que nous avons parlé avec vous, c'est conférence. Nous quoi, nous t'aiguons docteur Mandy qui était avec nous semaine dernière. Eh bien, il y a une conférence côté li a une activité 25 et 26 août. 25 là, c'est un événement côté li a apprécié, honoré leader New York de Miami, Broward et Palm Beach. C'est dans l'Oder Hill Performing Arts Center. Pas rater occasion ça côté pour capable venir honorer frère Cheyo qui a fait les grandes bagages dans la communauté. 26 août, c'est à deux événements, mais deux événements ça y est gratuits. Tant pis, si vous avez tout événement, yo, comme nous disons, si vous avez besoin de plus d'informations sur tout événement qui a passé, connectez avec Lode Hill TV et puis ou capable aller dans Lode Hill bar fl.gov et vous va joindre tout événement qui a passé. Yo. Encore enregistré avec Lode Hill TV. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. 10 familles, 10 amis pour vous capable de subscribe dans Lode Hill TV parce que c'est nous-mêmes ensemble qui pour permettre la communauté de grandir. Nous remercions et nous connaissons nous là pour servir chaque jeudi à 8h, 8h p.m. Retail, 8 o'clock p.m. sharp Thursdays. Meet us on Lauder Hill TV. <laughs> Thank you again, Madeline. Thank you so much. You did an amazing oh, job. And uh, Eric says, Madeline, you're doing a great job. Nice touch to include a translator. Thank <laughs> you so much for that, uh, Eric. Yes, indeed. And um, Mad uh, Miggy says, great job, ladies. Uh, Marcy is giving us the love hearts. And uh, just giving, sh shoving, shoving some some sh support uh, from everybody. Winsome is here. Good Hi, evening. Winsome. She speaks with such passion. I love it. I know, right? I love that. Thank you so much for showing uh, Madeline such. A I know we had here. Carlene on here as well yeah, too. Carlene, Carlene. thank you. <laughs> Being from the boogie down Bronx, I was wondering if Lordy Hill needed a translator to translate. <laughs> Drive, I'm we welcome you. <laughs> Ambassador, you know, I, I saw the um, the PT, 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 yeah, you got it. They, they've just yes. opened up their, their new season, so I'm gonna I'm gonna register for that. I'll tell you, I'm yes, gonna join please. that, which starts next, um, next starts in, in January, in January so yes. So, so please is, register for PLTI if you are a parent, if you are a caregiver, if you're just someone in the community that wants to see children and the community thrive. This is the pro PLTI Parent Leadership Training Institute, is the program for you, yeah. Welcome Graduate to you. of 2023. Welcome, uh, Suzanne, as well. Welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining. All right. I think we finished on time today. We finished on time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Lord Hill TV. Um, it's been a great show. If you missed it, go ahead and watch it from the beginning because we had uh, two, two, two chaps from, uh, from cricket talking about cricket in Lord Hill. It's a, it's a massive thing that's going to be happening this weekend in uh, in the city of Laurel Hill. Mm -hmm. It's going to bring a lot of money, bring a lot of uh, resources to the city. So it's great. And what the potential for, for what's going to come in uh, 2024 is big too. So 
Um, again, thank you so much, guys. What time will you be calling the raffle tonight? You know what? I was hoping that they would give me a free ticket. <laughs> I was hoping that they'd give me at least one or two free tickets, but yeah. they, didn't, they, never, they never give me nothing. <laughs> They never get, you know what? Those tickets are expensive, you know. Those tickets are not. Are they, have, you, have you seen? Have you looked? Let's Those give it some time. May, may, maybe they'll sneak you in maybe, one. Maybe they'll sneak one in. Maybe they, they might feel some, some guilt and they might give me, give me some <laughs> one or two. But they're expensive tickets, man, I'll tell you. All right, guys. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. We could go on. I could go on all night. But I want to make sure I'm respectful of your time. It's, it's, it's nine o'clock. It's a one hour show. Uh, we're going to actually extend it to to more shows very very soon and and big things are happening so keep us in prayer thank you for your support and everybody that's supporting and calling and giving suggestions thank you for your suggestions we are building as we go along i want to give you i want to bid you a wonderful night madeline much much love Bye, everybody. see you but bonsoir everybody and good night and from me and madeline good night Bye bye